what is going on my dudes so been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube um, been a past a busy like past two months uh, if you remember from the previous episodes I was building trophies for a car show got that all done and then I needed to build some trophies for another car show that was hosted separately um, same area but just separately from everything else uh, it was for the uh, Special Olympics, um, they were putting on a car show with the Bosky Farms PD. So uh, Brian or Brad Killall, sorry, uh, contacted me, wanted some trophies made. Um, not as many as the previous show, but he wanted some trophies made. Got those made up, so I was busy with that. And went up to Loveland, Colorado, um, to see my friend Matt. Got Matt and Cooper. What's up? What's up, What's up? dudes? <laughs> Um, basically got some new parts for the 27 uh, and obviously this is what the whole episode is going to be about. We're going to have a few videos uh, pertaining to the 27 build, the rat rod, uh, K-swap, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, haven't done a video on this car in a long time, haven't really worked on it in a long time, but um, I'll have a few videos of what's going on with the car and plans as of right now are uh, full teardown, which you'll see in this video. Full teardown, um, just a whole new redesign on suspension, everything, mounting, all this other stuff. I also got a few new sponsors on board for the car because um, I'm going to be pushing for SEMA 2023. Uh, I've been to SEMA, um, I've always helped other people with their SEMA cars, and I'm super stoked to have those opportunities as far as, you know, either working on them or doing the renderings for them or just kind of giving them more ideas on what they could do with the builds. Um, so I want to get my own cars to SEMA just because I think that would be really cool to do. Um, I never really cared for deadlines or like pushing myself but I figure if I start now, um, which SEMA hasn't even started yet for this year for 2022. So if I start now I should be good in the long run because I virtually have everything for this car I just have to make things if, if that makes sense just reiterate where I'm putting things um, You know make sure things are good where I think they're gonna go bolts nuts check all those uh, Weld up the new tube chassis so you'll see in the future videos what the new chassis is going to look like and I actually rendered out a rough render of the car um, so I won't show you guys the render until I'm certain that the chassis is going to look the way that the render looks and then I'm going to start on some body work um, so I have some plans to do some carbon fiber body work to this whole thing so you guys will obviously see that in the future but as of right now the teardown begins and SEMA 2023 uh, 27 rat rod thing is a go. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do that. When I was like you, I might have had this thoughts about murdering myself. But when I see you, I'm so happy that I want you to see.
So, obviously, tore the car down, tore everything apart. Um, kind of difficult to do by yourself. Uh, so the problem with the f first tube chassis, I guess, well, it was more sort of like the second tube chassis. It was more like caged with the second version. Um, the first version was just the bare tube chassis underneath. Um, no structural bars or anything like that. Um, the second tube chassis that I built for this thing, I welded straight to the body and that left some complications as far as uh, me having to weld really tight spots. Um, there's two ways to go about tube chassis stuff and one of them is obviously you know to mount the body to the chassis you just you know weld it to the rockers or something of that nature uh, plate it whatever you know send it on its way um, and the other side that kind of takes a little bit more time to engineer is uh, being able to unbolt everything so that you can weld everything, clean everything up, paint the chassis, um, but also have it like structurally strong so that the body doesn't go flying off with if bolts shear or something like that or tab shears. Um, so with that being said, uh, this third version is going to be a complete bolt on. So I'm going to design a way to obviously have the front and rear come off because that's what you want to be able to you know mess with parts or whatever um, but I want the whole body to come up uh, so gonna make some panels bolt on bolt off this way it's super super easy to take the car apart take the body off if I need to repair a tube or something or or get to something you know because um, it is a small car very small car but uh, yeah, that's just the whole design, obviously. Um, in the next video, you'll see kind of like where the car is going at, from this point. So, yeah, um, bit of a bit of a return to YouTube somewhat. The lighting's kind of weird. Bit of a return to YouTube, obviously. Uh, hopefully I can maintain the momentum uh, again. It's just, I do a lot of things by myself and I'm a one-man team, so... Holly, shut up. You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. So, one-man team. Um, so when it comes to like bigger projects and everything, I have to kind of take my focus away from the cars and put it on to like trophies and you know, something for other people or whatever. So um, that's how I make a majority of my money is, uh, you know, projects for other people 3D renders and you know whatever I can do on the side I guess really um, so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed it uh, glad to be back somewhat even though I never really left uh, just been busy so um, yeah hopefully you guys 
liked the 27 and obviously these will get better as progress kind of continues or whatever but um anyways i am going to jump out of here get out of here fly out of a plane jump out of a helicopter you know the plan um do all those things and i'll see you guys in the next one so uh peace love and chicken grease bye ha.